Hi guys, uh, this is Vishal here from Drapcode. So in this video, we will understand how to create a basic SaaS application in Drapcode. SaaS application is a project where there are n number of users, but each user sees the data of their own, the data which they have created, or maybe the data which is assigned to them or meant for them. Examples could be Gmail, right? Where each user is only seeing the emails which they have received or they have sent or they have composed, right? People are not seeing the data of each others. Could be a CRM could be a to-do list, could be a project management, where everyone is only seeing the data which either they have created or someone has created and assigned to them or, or which, which they should be seeing. There could be hundreds of users which are on the same platform, but everyone is seeing the data which is for them. So let's see how quickly we can develop a SaaS platform on Drap Code. So here we have a collection called user and there's a collection called product. Okay, so we are building a very basic SaaS application where each user will see the data which either they have created or is assigned to them or somehow it is related to them. Okay, so here there's a product and a user. So either you can create a relationship between them or by default the user has already a relation with each entity or each collection in the project. Okay, so whenever a new records get created, there is a field called created by which automatically get assigned to the user. So either you can use that field created by, or you can explicitly go and add some uh, user reference field in any collection. And user is simple. User has just first name, last name, email, and other things. So as of now, I've created two users, user one and user two, both have the role customer. Okay. And as of now, there are no products. No user has not created anything. So we'll just see how that works. So we have a couple of pages. Uh, so we have product create page and a dashboard. So let me uh, log in as a user and see how this dashboard looks like. So this is the dashboard as of now. Okay, let me just print the name so that we can see who this user is. So I'll go to the dashboard and let's just display the name of the current logged in user so that we know what data we are seeing. So this is the dashboard. Let me just put a heading. And here we'll say display data from logged in user, right? So that I know who the user is and just display the email of that particular user. Okay, maybe change it from large to a bit smaller. Okay, so this will be much clearer. So as of now, if I load, so we'll see with whom we are logged in. So we are logged in with user1 at the rate email.com. Let's go and create a product. Okay, so let's say product1 p1 by user1 some date so i am seeing the product let's create one more product p2 by user1 So I'm seeing the product. Now, if I log out from this user and log in from user two, so I go to the login page, say user two at the rate email.com. So user two will also land on the same dashboard and they will also see the same data because there is no restriction. We have not created any condition that who the person or what person will see what, right? So if you go to the dashboard, in the table, we have just all item, basically display everything. Now we want to change this. We want to show the data to the user who has created the product. If I go to my product collection and I refresh, I will be able to see these two products which I've done. And if I go to the settings, I can actually see created by. You can see it is showing created by user one because the user one has created it. This is also created by which is user two right sorry user one but product two so all these things are good as of now everyone is seeing anything now we want to apply some condition so i'll go to my collection and go to the configuration of the product now i'll go and create a filter so as of now there's a default filter all items now this is the most important piece where you see how you basically create a filter now i want to show the product to the user who has created them. So it can be 
or for other use cases also where let's say there's a to do list and everyone should see their task or maybe a CRM where everyone will see their lead or a product management tool where everyone see the task which they have created. OK, so let's say uh, products of current user, current logged in user. Now I'll say for find all matching data in the condition. So this is most important where I say show me or bring all the products where created by created by is the default field which captures that who is the current logged in person who has created this particular record equals current logged in user. So this is the this is the only condition which you will need to create a, a SaaS application. Everyone will see the data which they have created. Let's say I have other fields. Let's say I have a list of tasks and the task is assigned to someone. So you will create a filter where you say bring me all the products where let's say this is assigned to an current user. So he will see the task which they have created or they will see the task. Uh, which someone has else has created but assigned to them. So that user needs to be somewhere in the reference field of that particular collection item. Okay, so I'll say create filter. So now we have created a filter product of current logged in user. So as of now, if you see both the products belongs to user one because they have created it. User two has not created anything, but still they are seeing it. So let's restrict this. So I'll go back to my collection. I'll go to the dashboard and remove this table because we need to reset the table since we have done some changes. So filter do not get automatically reflected. So just reload the page. Okay, so I'll drop a data table here. I'll say get data from collection product. Now instead of all item, I will choose product of current logged in user right? because this is the filter which I want to apply that show only the products which are created by the current user whoever is logged in. Okay, so I'll just save this. Let's go to the page and reload. Now we are logged in as user two. So user two is now not seeing any product because they have not created anything. Right. So let's create a product from user two. So I'll say product one by user two some description, some date, save. Now, if this user go to the dashboard, they will see the product which they have created. So they are seeing product one by user two, but they are not seeing the other two products. Let's log in from user one. So user one at the rate email. Now I'm logged in as user one. They both are landing on the same dashboard, but the data what they are seeing is varying. Now user 1 is seeing the product which they have created, user 2 is seeing the product which user 2 have created. Now let's create one more product from user 1. So let's say P3 by user 1. Submit. So now this user is seeing three products because they have created. So this is the foundation of basic SaaS platform where everyone is seeing the data which they have created. You can apply much more condition. You can basically uh, filter this on the basis of status, on the basis of some you know, manufacturing date, some category and all those things. But who, the main condition is basically users should be seeing the data which either they have created or which someone else has created. But this user lies somewhere as a reference field in that particular collection. Hope you enjoyed this video. We will continue to create much more educational videos. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.